Email from the U.S. What's the ruling on praying behind someone who commits acts of shirk? Now, this brings us to Muhammad Farhan's question from the Philippines, judging people. Akhi, if I see something that an individual is doing, I cannot jump the gun. I cannot label him as a kafir or an innovator or this or that until it is beyond doubt. So an imam of a masjid who sells amulets and he says that this amulet is for bringing children and this one is for protecting you from evil eye and this one is from this. And we know that this is all bogus and not true. He's committing acts of shirk. He's an imam. He should know this. We don't pray behind him, but to give him the benefit of the doubt, we go and talk to him and tell him this is haram. An imam who says in the khutbah, Ya Rasulullah, save us. And he's calling the Prophet ﷺ. This is an act of shirk because he's calling someone who is unable to benefit us. We cannot call the dead. We cannot call except Allah Azza wa Jal who can help us. If someone is going to dargahs and sacrificing for the peer or for the deceased awliya and maybe prostrating or doing acts of shirk, we cannot pray behind such people. But if someone is innovating, he's doing the mawlid, for example, and this is an innovation, there's no shirk in it, it's sinful, but there is no shirk, I can pray behind such a person. If a person believes something to be correct, but it is wrong, we have to speak with them before judging them. But basically, yes, if it is crystal clear that this is shirk, or he says things that are shirk, if he says that the Prophet Islam is not created of clay like all humans, rather he's created from Allah's light. This is kufr, definitely. So we don't pray behind such people and Allah knows best.